Pro Circuit Kawasaki's Joe Shimoda. Joe, how are you feeling today, buddy? Uh, feeling good. I mean, nothing really happens today. Just you just press day. Yeah. I got you. Now, do you do you usually do these every week, or do you kind of? No, not every week. Some. Some weeks. Some weeks. So when you go out there, do you just kind of just like get in the feel of the track, or do you kind of look for some lines, or are you just trying to just kind of just just kind of just keep her easy? Yeah, easy. Easy. Nice, nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so far, you know, highs and lows. How do you how do you kind of feel about going to this round? You feel like you're kind of ready for that time to shine? Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying everything everything every weekend. But yeah. The, the result kind of not showing. I know. We much right now. we know your efforts there, though. We see it. No, honestly, like right now, I'm just want to do a clean racing. You know, yeah. Like, stay away from the troubles, honestly. Just, you know, like, want to want to uh, yeah do one solid race. Yeah. To regroup, and then after that, I think it should be okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, man. Well, Triple Crown consistency—that's kind of your game. So, good luck, buddy. I appreciate your time, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Guys, we're here with the uh, Moto X Pod Show, one of our usual weekly check-in guys, Derek Kelly. Derek, we're here in Arizona, man. How do you feel, buddy? I'm stoked. It's uh, it's a little cold, actually, for Arizona, so um, hopefully it warms up for the night show. Well, we just came from Dallas. It was 21 degrees when we left this morning, so I'm, 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 yeah, I'm happy now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're a couple rounds in, kind of getting the roo- getting the groove going. Like, what's, uh, what you, what you been working on this week? What do you, what do you feel better about? Uh, obviously, we're going to sprints, so it's going to be short, short main events, 10 minutes. Um, starts are going to be key, and and got to get a good qualifying spot, obviously. So yeah. It's, it's mostly sprints and, and starts. So what do, you, what do you kind of look for out of these little press days? You kind of like a secret line, or are you trying this to? Is my first. This is my first press. Oh, day okay, of the year, cool, so, man. Um, I'm I'm just excited to get a little extra track time. Yeah. You, you have to l- usually learn everything on the day of the race, so nice to have a little bit of extra practice and learn some of the lines. Do you th- do you think that like that helps or do you think maybe like there's a section that, like now you're trying to go to sleep tonight and you're like no oh, that quad or something oh, like that 100 percent advantage I mean, yeah the track time you have before the qualifying the better for sure all right man well we'll be watching for you dude we'll, hopefully we'll get you in that top 10 i know you can yeah. do it man yeah all right sure. thanks brother thank you bogle he was just talking about maybe stepping onto this onto onto here so we'll see what happens i was actually thinking right behind you i was thinking maybe triple triple quad triple Honestly, I didn't even look at that rhythm yet. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up 30 minutes ago, so oh, wow. I, I might take this first one and roll the track. Roll the track? You know, no, you just feel good. good man. Feel I'm, her out. I'm excited, though, man. Things are coming around a little bit, and I'm enjoying I'm enjoying it more in the last couple weeks. Yeah. I'm just kind of realizing kind of where I'm at and just trying to take it step by step, take some baby steps at the moment. So it's made it a little bit more enjoyable so track looks pretty good it's a little bit different which i like yeah it causes us to think a little maybe and a couple different rhythms or some this stadium so big that you can have such long rhythm lanes so that makes it really fun yeah just for options and stuff so it's all good man i'm looking forward to it see what we got out here a couple of the lines but track looks fun so yeah far. yeah man no it's 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 so crazy with you guys right now like you know, all of y'all are so talented. Like I was, we were talking on the show. You know, last week, like you were to get in there that uh, LCQ and get in that last spot. You were riding, bro. <laughs> like, and it's crazy. Like, cause like you know, any one of you guys can be in that position, and you could be, you know, it's putting in that top ten too. So it's so crazy. I'm so glad to see it for us. So like, I know, it, I know it's fun for y'all. Keeps it. Does that kind of keep it like fresh, revigorating? Like, it's not the you know the same thing every week. And you know, any of those guys can be your competitor. Yeah, I mean, that keeps it exciting. And obviously for the fans and for everybody watching, it's so much more fun when it's so close and the racing so just tight. If you don't get a start, I mean, you're going to have a really hard time getting through even yeah. if you're one of the best guys. So um, <laughs> last weekend, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, so far the season has been rough, man. I've yeah. been struggling. So last weekend I had to ride my ass out just to get the main event. Yeah. And I came back and I was like, God, it's like, what do I got to do? Um, this is crazy. But we got in the main, got a better start, and, and had a better race. So obviously not where we want to be, but I, I was okay with it. So, well, we're not even quarter way through, so you'll get there, man. I've, you, your hard work is is seen, so just keep it up, time, man. man. I've, been in this, I've been in this game a while, yeah. now, and I understand how it goes, and I know with the you know preparation or lack thereof that I came yeah. into the season with just from things happening. And, 
so being, you know, figuring out deals and things like that. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty far behind as far as where I would have liked to have been prep wise, but I know that and I do have the experience to kind of be able to get through this first half of the season and right. find my sea legs a little bit. So that's yeah. kind of what I'm doing right now and trying to do and like I said, try to enjoy this stuff, man, because yeah. I don't operate well off not having any fun. Yeah. I need to enjoy this stuff. Exactly. So, and I am right now. My team we're sponsored by Twisted T, man. Yeah. Twisted T. Keep it a little loose. Like, yeah. All the head guys, they're so, so cool, man. And they're, they're all working hard and we're, we're having fun at the same time. You know, my teammates are, have so much fun with it, man. So yeah. It's keeping it fresh, keeping it fun. Like I said, I've been in this a long time, so it's nice to have yeah. that, have that camaraderie and excitement to go do your job. Yeah. You know, so you know, I get to do the coolest thing in the world to yeah. me, So try not to take that for granted. And right. Even when it's rough and I'm struggling, it still kind of take a step back and understand, like, the world is my oyster, man. This yeah. is what I'd pick, so yeah. it's all good. Well, yeah, man, I'm glad to see you saw here. You know, I was thinking about the other day, I'm, I'm from Texas, and I remember watching you uh, on Race of Pro Challenge out there on that Geico Honda just smoke everybody. Seems like yesterday, so glad to see you still doing it, man. I appreciate the time, and we'll catch you around, man. Good luck, brother. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, we're here with Justin Barsha, Bam Bam, on the Gas Gas. He's about to do some press today. How are you feeling, Justin? Feeling good. Stoked to be here. This place is awesome. Nice stadium. Uh, I'm excited for the Triple Crown. Um, get three opportunities to go racing, so that's good. And they're like sprint races for me, so yeah. I enjoy that. Fits my style pretty well. Yeah. As, yeah, you seem kind of like consistency has kind of been your thing a little bit this year. You know, yeah, maybe yeah. ups and downs. So this race kind of, you know, do you feel like that's one of it, it, it leans to your one of your strengths? or? I think so, um, for sure. I like the Triple Crown. I think it's a good opportunity to make up a lot of points. Um, the last two races, obviously, were, for me, subpar. So um, my riding's good, and the bike feels really good, and uh, I'm excited to be here. It's a big floor. The dirt obviously gets hard packed, but right now it's looking pretty good. So I just have a lot of excitement about the about the weekend. You know? yeah. It's be a good race. <laughs> They're just having fun, man. I, lo I love you on this Gas Gas team. Me I think, too. like, if I was thinking about if you're going to be a brand that's coming in, like you're the guy so I, I, well. I like it for you and so you know just kind of talk about like what like the second year you know yeah. how we feeling new bike changes kind of you know getting getting used to it and how, how we doing with all that yeah absolutely yeah the, the fit right here is, is great the whole gas gas brand it's a lot of fun very similar to my style and we're just trying to have a lot of fun um I'm lucky we didn't switch um, to a new bike this year because I am still I still feel like I was learning this bike after one year yeah. this off season I got to know it really well and uh, for me uh, having two years under my belt on this bike is is awesome it's been a lot of fun and really just fine tuning things so yeah the team the team's great you know I get along with everyone really well and uh, I plan on you know, finishing on my career here obviously I feel yeah. like I have a, you know, a lot of, you know, not a lot of years left but a long time left still so yeah. I'm uh, I'm gonna enjoy it and have fun with the guys and out there and try to win some races. I think you can do it, man. Well, we're rooting for you, brother. I uh, appreciate your time, man. Have a good one, okay? Thanks, man. Press day, Glendale. We're here with Marv. Marv, how are we doing today, man? Pretty good. You know, we flew in uh, last night to get ready for a press day today. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice weather here and uh, excited to get on the track and, and, and learn the track for tomorrow. Do you do you like the press day, getting the little advantage of it, or is it kind of, you know, either way for you? No, it's fun. I mean, it's another day on the on the motorcycle and uh, to, we get to learn the track for the race uh, on tomorrow. And, uh, you know, this track seems pretty long and it'll be, it'll be important to... Uh, to learn it and remember it for tomorrow and get, yeah. uh, get into practice, um, get out there quick and uh, always always enjoy press day, you know, it's, it's a good atmosphere, uh, relax, and, like yeah. I said, another day on the motorcycle and uh, get to learn more. Yeah, cool, yeah, this is my first one, so I mean, I'm kind of learning the ropes, so okay. it's cool being able to do this kind of stuff, man. Uh, you know, you, the, the new bike, everybody's talking about the changes. Round five, how, how are we feeling? Like, we, we kind of, we pre-dialed in, you feeling more comfortable on it? I mean, we can always uh, we can always improve, and the real test was uh, was the race. So um, we've seen that uh, we were able to get some good results, and in other races uh, we were we were uh, behind. So you know, as a team, we we gotta we gotta you know, try try different things, see, see what what we can improve on, on the bike. It's a completely new bike, so we're definitely yeah. gonna be learning you know, more and more, even even in a month and two months, and and for the other riders for outdoors. And yeah. on and on, you know, it's a good bike. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Well, man, we're pulling for you. I, 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 you were my dark horse at the beginning of the season, so you've been hanging in there, man. I'm glad to see you. Hopefully, we get to see you a little more, man. Appreciate you, Marv. Yep. Here, we're, we're here with Robbie Wageman, sponsor of the show with our jerky. What's going on, man? Happening, man? Doing pretty good, man. Uh, how's, how's everything been going? How's the jerky life? Oh, it's awesome. Can't <laughs> complain. Uh, stuff's really good. Love to eat it. And uh, yeah, the website's been, been blowing up pretty good. So we've been selling quite a bit of jerky, and we appreciate all you guys that support us and help us out. Yeah, when yeah, Dark Side's gotten me starting to do some like some of our sponsors posts on Instagram, and y'all are always one of the first ones I look to. I love sponsoring that stuff, man. How are you feeling about this weekend, man? Yeah, I feel really good. It's a hometown race for my team, so uh, we're pumped on that. We got you know, some hometown theme graphics and stuff, some one-off stuff to match the gear and it stuff looks, like that. It looks like the desert. I like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, no, it's always super fun. We're uh, pumped to be back here in the State Farm Stadium, so we're going to have fun and tear it up. Is this your uh, first Triple Crown? or have you? No, I've done a couple Triple Crowns. Yeah, I... I think maybe three or four. Three or four? Yeah. What do you What do you think? You like You like the change of pace or? Yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. Maybe you maybe uncovered it. The three main events is, is different, but it's super cool. It's pretty, pretty quick and back to back. Here. But uh, so much. I mean, I, I enjoy that. Do you feel like it kind of benefits your race craft, or kind of like something that you kind of have to, uh, you know, maybe overcome a little bit? Of course. Yeah, right, it's, blood survives. it's fun. I mean, it's cool Thanks, you get man. three starts, so if you have one bad one, you, you can kind of throw to go away. Back yeah. and like, all right, you know, we got two more starts or whatever, so um, so that part's cool. Um, but it's definitely tough, like, from main one to main two is pretty back-to-back, -back, so. Um, but, no, yeah, I like it. It's something different and change of pace. What, I know you haven't been on the track yet, but just looking at it, what do you think so far? It's pretty big. Yeah, the track looks awesome. Uh, we got some long rhythm legs and stuff like that. So definitely a, a change of what we've been racing the last four weekends. Everything's been a little on the tighter side. So yeah. Obviously, coming to this football stadium here, it's a lot larger and bigger. So bit, bit bigger platform for them to build for us. So. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, we were just – I was showing them this over here. We were just talking to uh, – I saw uh, Cooper and Bogle over there talking about stepping on, stepping off of it. So <laughs> there's a lot of options out here, man. Yeah, well, yeah. well, uh, like I said, you know, sponsor the show. We always wish you the best, man. Good luck, and uh, we appreciate you, yeah, man. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Robin. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here with Hunter Lawrence. Y'all just got off the track for your first time seeing it. What you, what you think, bud? It's good. The dirt's really nice. Really so, nice at the moment. So. Yeah, for now, right? Yeah, it's good. Everyone says it gets really hard packed. But, I mean, it's pretty good. What do you think about this this section over here? It looks like that that triple in after the dragon's back is kind of wild. What what happens after you jump after you jump that triple? Oh, everyone's just kind of figuring it out, you know, like kind of trying to see what you know the qualifying line is going to be, what the race line, normally just what the fastest line is going to be. It's uh, it's tricky. There's some like really small um, three footers in there that are really like super low but like really sharp, so you don't get the, the lift off them you you know you normally do. So it's it's tricky. It's tricky. Uh, everyone's kind of just figuring that lane out for now. Do you do you feel like sometimes like you find a lane out these press days and then you come back the next day and it's like not even the same at all? Or does it usually kind of hold up pretty well? <sighs> I mean, it's more, more or less similar. They're, they're very similar. Nothing changes dramatically unless I think uh, everyone kind of agrees to like, you know, tell the track workers if something was like that. But no, then no one pretty much the same. What, do you, what would you say a track obstacle that's your favorite? And what would you say is your best at? Is that about the same? That's a good point. I like whoops. Whoops are fun. Whoops are good. Um, <laughs> You've been pretty solid this season in the whoops. I like them. Finish lines are nice. <laughs> they get double, they get triple. They're good. Um, I mean, rhythm sections are okay. They're kind of like... Nothing crazy, like just I don't know. See, to tunnel, me, it's fun. Yeah, tunnel. So, Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a B guy. I can hang in there, but when I see this kind of stuff, I'm like, bro, there's no way. So the dragons back is good. When we have like a good, like the dragons back at San Diego was fun. That was really good. It was really nice. Built dragons back. And it was uh, a longer one too, which yeah. was good. That was a cool uh, dragon back. Um, just trying to think what other sections we've had. Now, I feel like optically for the fans, the, the Dragons back are probably one of the coolest things. They are cool. They are cool. Like this one's a good one. It's kind of like tall. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think what other obstacles. I mean, when there's good dirt, like Doesn't really good dirt, like I just think of Dallas dirt. Yeah. Like, it could make anything feel way better just because it's so like good. Like a simple step on, step off. It's just so much more fun when that dirt is just like on and it's yeah. like perfect drive and it's just uh, it's a good well, corner and 
Yeah, you're you're kind of you're, you're new to do the, the Dallas Stress got that red clay now for the longest time It was like that black snot mud and it was hard packed blue grooved every year So you're yeah, we're, we're spooled now. We kind of got that red clay like yeah, like Atlanta that does dirt's so nice. Yeah, that dirt's really nice. even Atlanta. That's a good one as well. That's yeah, really good dirt too. I feel like those probably pretty much the same thing Yeah, so the dirt there's really good. Yeah, my our local track that I ride out a lot is in the East Texas area about an hour and a half from Dallas and it has that red clay Sunday morning on like a fresh when the sun's coming over it's it doesn't it yeah now. red clay man all right well man, we're pulling for you this weekend you. man Thank appreciate you. your time appreciate it. all right man we'll Thank see you around you.